I want all the loot. 2020 vision, I want all the loot. I'm talking be my all clean, fit to me. Finger all shiny on my baby's diamond ring. I was on a high till I caught onto the scene. Swear I lost my heart when I fell in love with things. Rookie year went broke like Jalen Rose. Got the price, sold my soul to the things I own. Switched up, locked in, and got my mind right. Prioritizing, got my business and my time right. My bad, y'all. I've been talking and everything. We didn't know he was muted. That's how y'all know this boy. This is fresh. We out here. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, what's up, everybody? Man, welcome back to another uh, episode of the interview series uh, featuring, you know, Sharnice and ourselves. And then we have some special guests for you guys this week. Uh, super excited to bring them on. But before that, what I want you to do is make sure you share this live with at least three to five people that y'all know that should be on here gathering this. And man, like I said, we I'm, it's blessed, man. We got family on the day, man. So this gonna be this gonna be a dope one. Yes, sir. I'm super excited. I got my cousin coming on here. She's about to drop so many gems, and I'm so proud of her. I tell her this all the time because I've had so many people reach out and wanting to learn and know about mobile home investing, and she literally hopped in it and killed it. She's going to talk about all the things that she do. And she a hustler, 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 nice. like do everything, even outside of mobile home. So I'm super excited for her to come on and just talk about her journey and the deal she's done. Yes, man. So before we get into it, for one, again, make sure you guys are sharing this live, right? Share this live with at least three to five people. And once you share, I want you to put done in the comments. Make sure you have not. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, and that way you can catch these weekly uh, interview series and then make sure to catch us Wednesday on our live free webinar, which we host every Wednesday. All right. So, man, if y'all we got we got a woman by guest. Like I said, this is family. So first, I want y'all to start dropping the fire signs in the comments. What's up? Who else we got in here? We got Samantha in here. And I want y'all to start dropping. Where y'all checking in from? We from the chat, right? We got family from the chat. Where y'all checking in from? Let me see that in the comments, man. And again, drop them fire signs because we got to warm them up. Richton Park. Oh, uh, we got the Facebook family in the house, Richton Park. Cool. She said, as soon as I can pay for the class, I will. I'm ready. Let's get it, Queen. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Let me see where y'all checking in from real quick. I know sometimes it's delayed. Here we go. We got Seattle in the house. Virginia, okay. What up, Danielle? Yeah, Denver. Denver, Colorado. Charlotte. We got Charlotte in the house. Oh man, I see y'all. Aaron, I already started warming them up. One of my guests. Let's get it. Oh man, here they come. Wow. Okay, y'all was all not all at once. Okay, we got Detroit. <laughs> Let's see, we got San Antonio in the house. Orlando. Chi-Town representing. Okay, okay. Man, that's a hot, another hot fire sign. Isaac from Omaha. Let's get it. By the way, ATL. What's up? What's up? Taurus from Louisiana. Waynesboro. Oh, man, I think they ready. What you think? Yeah, bring them on. I <laughs> bet, man. Without further ado, man, when I tell y'all we so excited, we got family. And it's no, it's no better. The family can't eat together, man. So you already know, man, we definitely got to bring on this family. The king and queen, man, Danica and Vic, when I tell y'all, they was curious. They start diving in, asked questions, did the work, did not even look back. Man, without further ado, man, we got to bring on Danica and Vic, man. What's up, family? Hey, family. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, guys. <laughs> yes, man. Nah, so this this dope, man. You know, again, like for real, for everybody on here, we can say family, but no, nah, like this legit blood. And so, mm -hmm. man, it's, it's dope, you know what I mean, to, to see what y'all been able to do. And I know the people are going to be excited just to hear y'all's story on how y'all even kind of got into it and all that kind of stuff. So, man, you know, go ahead and take over. 
Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get the people what they want. So you know, I know I know all about y'all life. I know <laughs> but you know, for the viewers out there that don't know Donika and Vic, like let us know your location, where you checking in from, what y'all do, other things that y'all got going on. So tell it to the people. Well, I'm Donika <laughs> and we here from Chicago. I work full time for Cook County. I work in managed care. And when I'm not in managed care, you know, we got like, we some Mexicans. We got like 10 hustles. <laughs> <laughs> we got the mobile homes. You feel me? You need a wig or some bundles. Get at me. You need some lashes. Get at me. We just got all the uh, throne chair rooms going on. You got a party event. You book us. You feel me? <laughs> we got a lot in store. You know what I'm saying? You can slide on us, get a mobile home. You slide on us, get some bundles. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm Vic. I'm Vic. Four time employee. Come here. Keep the lights going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. Say on my walls. She pretty much the, the ring leader. I just be like, okay, baby, whatever. How about you? How about you? <laughs> right. How about you? Okay. Hey, you know, love dope, it. though. The support, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, fellas, if you're listening, man, you got to support your queen because at the end of the day, yeah, she can be out here grinding and grinding and grinding, but you put some work in, man, it, it, it's, it's beneficial for everybody. So that's dope. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, man, so how y'all got introduced to Mobile Home Investor? Well, it came about my little sister. Sharnice had ran about my little sister at first. Mm -hmm. And so we, you know, me and Ishii, we had these monthly check-ins, monthly like, man, we need to get some more income, what we finna start doing. And then she told me in my mobile homes, and I'm like, what? She's like, what, Shawnee's? I'm like, I ain't seen that on Shawnee's page. She, no, you gotta find your business say, I said, I ain't seen Shawnee's do nothing but go out of town. Like, what you talking about? So then she got to telling me about it, so I reached out to Shawnee's, and then after that, I had got enrolled in, you know, y'all course, and at the time, I was pregnant. So, you know, in between work, I'm watching courses. You know, I watch a course, do a little work, watch a course, go search some mobile homes. Like, what is this? You know, so when you thinking, you know, we know we don't know mobile homes. You know, we was uneducated at first. So when you say mobile home, we like a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Who said about that? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, after we took the course, I ran about him. So he like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What you want? Basically, how much you need? <laughs> so while I was pregnant, we just uh, after we took the course, we got our feet wet just driving to mobile home parks. Like we was just googling some, and we just jumped in the truck. We drove to some. We drove to Illinois. So we was, you know, looking at some people who let us in. We would walk around. I'm just like, somebody gonna buy this? Like somebody wanna, <laughs> somebody wanna live up in here? Like man, we've seen some terrible stuff. I'm in there like. Eight months pregnant, stepping over piles of stuff. I'm just yeah. like, and then she told me, like, <laughs> she uh sent me the link, and she was like, On oh, your lunch break, I just need you to watch this court. I'm like, Uh, my lunch break, I'm trying to meditate. Take me <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do what? So then I started watching the course on my uh lunch break, and shit got interesting. I'm like, Oh, okay, but you heard what Byron was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he be at work, he be at work now, like Brian going live, jump on down. <laughs> <laughs> that's so dope. Hey, that's dope. That's dope, man. Like, even for one, like, I mean, if y'all listening on here, for once, dropping fire signs, like, the nigga said she was, he was eight months pregnant. Man, we was eight months pregnant out here hitting parks. Like, oh, <laughs> <Eight months. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then for real, salute to you, Vic. Cause for real, I get it, bro. Like you talking about my lunch break. Like, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to eat, have peace. Right. right. I ain't trying to think about nothing else right now. <laughs> but you know that just show that just for real show like you know how y'all separated yourselves because sometimes people ain't willing to do that. They not willing to say you know they they want to do it on their time. You know what I'm saying? Versus like doing it when it's uncomfortable and that can be uncomfortable you know but like y'all was willing to do that and that's why i think y'all y'all got the results that y'all got because y'all jump right in there and y'all didn't have no excuses you know what i'm saying like danica you could have been like i'm eight months pregnant i ain't doing this right Oh, no, nah, it's like once i got to watching the modules it's like it get interesting like even today now i'll be up 
I found myself at up three, four o'clock in the morning searching mobile homes and mobile home parks. Like once you get your feet in the game, you go eat, sleep, and breathe mobile homes. Like, <laughs> one deal, that first deal go have you so hungry, you go be like, I need, I need ten more. Right? Damn, yeah. for real, for real, yeah. for real man. Yep, I love it. So, like you just said, I need to get that first deal. So let's talk about that first deal because I feel like the first deal. And it can go left or right. It can go good or it can be some, you know, some hiccups in between, but you still can have an outcome. So we know you sold that house for 10000 So walk us through that deal and then tell us one thing you learned from that first deal as well. Well, first of all, that deal was terrible. Like <laughs> everything that could have went wrong went, went wrong. Went wrong. And first of all, the people we went to saw the uh, see the mobile home. The people were still living in there, so we couldn't like we just walking through there, walking over their stuff. So when they moved out, when they we had already bought it, when they moved out, they had to be out on the first. So we had already gave them the money, did the paperwork and everything. Then we go after they leave. They got like two huskies, like dog hair everywhere. Oh, man. Uh, I'm, I'm like literally like like. I think every roach in America was in this mobile home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. It was, it was, it was, it was so bad. It was like, and it was like a 1970 something. And I promise you, we had been looking at mobile homes, looking at mobile homes. And every time we would go to get one, I'd be like, but what if what if it take us three months to sell it, Dick? Right. We gotta way. pay this line, yeah. we gotta pay this line uh -huh. or this one don't look too good. Right. So we ain't gonna get this one. But then when I go back and look at for the mobile home, it's gone. It's so mm -hmm. like damn, we done missed another beat. We done <laughs> yeah. missed so we saw that we just like we just gonna jump on it. Uh -huh. And then, uh -huh. then we jumped on it. Uh what we paid? Five for it. We four. put like yeah, four. Then we put like another two in it, and sold it for ten. But it was it was just the the contract that we had. I think Danica found them uh, <laughs> like in a homeless alley or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only, only thing he did was slap paint on the wall. He ain't patch up no holes. So it was at that point we said like whatever we can get for, it, we gonna get for it. But we still made out good on it. So that's so, dope. Yeah, that's dope. So. Man, so like, so you say y'all end up, and how, how much y'all end up selling it for? Uh, 10. 10,000. Yeah. 10,000. Bought, bought it for four, put about two back in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sold it for 10. Yeah, the person that bought it. And we, I mean, I mean, to cut you we didn't sit on it long either. We only paid what? Well, we sat on it for about three or four weeks. Like, we didn't even see a lot of rent. No, nah, this one we did. Yeah, we this did. one was like a month and a half. Oh, okay. That's yeah, good. Good. Okay. Wow. Man, that's not bad. But then, so, like, I'm listening to y'all, even, like, from y'all experience, like you said, the, the roaches, right, the, 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 the handyman that only did the paint, right? <laughs> so, like, and y'all was able to still walk away with profit from that. So, y'all had, what I love about it, y'all made 20K from a home that y'all had on the market for only five days. Walk the people through that deal. So that first deal definitely prepared us for that second deal. Like when we walked through that house, to, we bought this house from the park. So all our deals are in the same park. Mm. So we bought this home from the park. So when we walked in now, we opening up cabinets, looking right. at corners. Looking we look for, for rays. <laughs> we look for roaches. We tiptoeing across the, the corners. We looking for soft spots. Like we own it. We know what to look for now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nobody's selling us no nothing. So that one was good we paid seven for that one okay they wanted 13 five for right yeah we negotiated it down to seven then we put six thousand into it and we had got a new and improved contractor it took them what three four weeks yeah. um, and wow. as soon as i put it on the market like yep. it was gone like i had all cash buyers like i'm ready i'm like what's uh -huh. up like, right. it, it, was What's even, up? it was even people saying like i'll pay y'all and not show this no more yeah like we are bad we're like well yeah. you, know, you got to get approved by the park first yeah. just can't sell it to you but yeah, yeah they was want to pay the they want they tried to pay us to stop showing it. dang so this one this one so so quick like i I put that post up like we went out that super bowl sunday and yeah. uh -huh. tidied up yeah. man i got people like i want this house i got mm -hmm. 
tw- we posted it for for twenty five thousand, and it was in nineteen ninety eight. Wow, it still needed a refrigerator and stove. It so. still needed a refrigerator and stove. So I'm like, you got twenty thousand cash, you put your oh, own right. stove refrigerator. Right, right. 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 <laughs> they was like, cool. I just bought a new one anyway. I'm like, right. Right. right, I drove out there so quick. I had just took my little wig braids down. I'm out there with a fro and <laughs> kept Tim's on jogging right. pants. Let's bust this deal. I love it. I Like I'll, I'll be at work. And she was like, "Well, I got somebody that want to buy it now, and I ain't, and I ain't finna miss this beat. I ain't so, on you. so I ain't waiting on you. I'm like, I'm up. <laughs> just, make sure, right, just make sure you don't go by yourself, okay? Right, right. <laughs> right. Make sure you don't go by yourself. And yeah, so it'd be like a lot of times, like I, I be working crazy hours, and she, she be like literally taking care of business, like literally taking care of business. So I salute her. <laughs> hey, that's big though. You know what I'm saying? That teamwork that y'all even able, able, even able to do that. You know, and I think that you know what I what I'm hearing too. What I love about it is, like you said, that that one deal. Y'all learned so much from that first deal. Yeah, we learned so yeah. much, and it was so crazy because you know how y'all send out those little motivational emails. Yeah. So we passed the deals, passing deals, and it was like. You had said something about like stop overthinking a right. deal, yeah. and I'm like, hey, let's go get this house. And another thing, too, let's go get it. <laughs> another thing, I be telling her like, and I, I heard you say you like, you not living there. What you don't like, somebody oh my else might like. Right. 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 She's like, you gotta take yourself out the equation. Every right. home, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> People walking out like, yeah, I love it. Uh, how much you want? <laughs> Yeah, but, but that's literally how it is, though. Like, even when we first started, like, we was kind of putting ourselves into it, and we mm-hmm. had to think, like, we're not about to live here. And then, you know, like you said, I need to, like, once you get into the mobile home, you're going to learn the, the population and the people that you're really going to be serving. And that's really kind of what they like. They like basic. They like stuff that they can come mm-hmm. in and kind of paint and make it yeah. their home. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's dope, though, man. I think everybody that's listening... Like, I want y'all to listen to the key things, you know, like, like Danica said, she's like, she came across the email and it was kind of like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't pass on no more deals. Mm-hmm. And I really want y'all to take, like, really take that consideration because for one, here's my thing, they ain't had no excuses. Danica, eight months pregnant. Vic say he working long hours. Vic, like, and then what I love about real, real, like, real shit, Vic, like, you wasn't on some, like, you know what, baby, like, we ain't gonna get this until I come. You like, all right, look, just go take care of business right. and make sure somebody come with you. Right. And so for all my fellas on here, you really gotta have that mindset. It's really a team sport. If you play, if you play any type of sport, not everybody gonna be the quarterback, right? It's only one quarterback. So mm-hmm. that's the same thing with when it comes to mobile home investing. If you partner up with somebody, like if y'all listen, listen to their dynamic of their team, right? That helped them, and that's how they're able to continue succeeding in this business. Yeah, on our last deal, uh, she couldn't make it to uh to see the finishing touches when the contract uh, mm-hmm. got done, she mm-hmm. couldn't go. So literally, I got off work at two o'clock and shot straight to Indiana. Like literally, I'm out there sweeping, mopping because we had somebody coming the next day. And look at it. I'm oh, like, oh, yeah. the <laughs> Gee, you send me a picture. Right. Hey, daddy over there, sweep right, right. there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <giving> orders <laughs> through FaceTime. Right. Through FaceTime. <laughs> Nah, that's dope, man. I, nah, for real. Everybody listening on here, definitely, y'all need to take that. Just know, like, man, listen, we can do this together or even with your partner. Listen to the dynamic of what they're talking about. Yes, sir. So I know we kind of, you kind of touched on that last deal, Dick, a little bit, but we're going to talk about it now. So the last deal, and y'all decided to do the passive income route. So that's yeah. the deal that you sold on payment. So at the end of it, you're going to get like twenty seven five, right? No, so, we gonna touch probably like thirty. It's at a five percent rate. Okay, right. Yeah, give, two me, and two right and give me right. Give me right. They uh, they YouTube video. They gonna teach you about payments and all that. Right, <laughs> right. Look, I'm like, give me right, cause okay, so you are gonna get thirty thousand about at the end of that. So what made y'all decide to switch it up from? Cause y'all was kind of doing the flipping strategy, but then you kind of was like, no, nah, I think I'm gonna get that passive on this deal. What made y'all do that? I had told him, like, I'm ready to get that passive income. Like, those flips be cool because it's like, but it's like, once you get the money, if if you got that mindset, you right reinvesting the money. You know what I'm saying? You're not really seeing it. So I think our first, the first time we seen some money was the second deal. 
we paid ourselves ten percent. You know, like y'all yeah. said in the videos, you know, mm -hmm. the models. We paid ourselves ten percent off that deal, and then we reinvested. And this time, the park actually hit us up. Like, man, I got this rental property. They done, you know, you know, messed it up. I don't want to fix it up. Come check it out if y'all want it. Y'all could have it. And they wanted like ninety five hundred for what? And I've been tuning into um Clubhouse with mm -hmm. Calvin with the wholesaling. And he mm -hmm. said you supposed to offer make offers that make you uncomfortable. So mm -hmm. you know I be I'll be I'll be on straight BS. I'll be embarrassed right, we, now. I'm like, be, I got two thousand. He like, that good. Like literally we be in there, they be like, Yeah, we want uh thirteen K for it. She look around, she like, shit, I got like three K. Damn, damn, she disrespectful. <laughs> hey, but it worked though. Because right. it made you come back and meet you in the middle. It worked. Yeah. Hey, man, I, when I then, did. then they get to negotiate, get to come and die. We're like, oh, she, she owned us all. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Byron, I've been in the background. Yeah, man, you got to Hey, for real. <laughs> man, you be having to, sometimes we don't have to up the roll on them. Like, man, look, this is what I got. They like, all right, come on with it. Hey, I love it. Yeah, Man, that's... the park wanted ninety five for that one, so we negotiated it down to five uh, even, yep. and that was a what's that's a two thousand uh, eight two thousand eight. And now, man, you're doing all these deals like we're not paying, the, we're not paying no we're lot not rent. paying no lot rent. Cause I don't know what she done did. She done <laughs> she done she done finessed the system. She done got free lot rent for like six months. <laughs> so, so we're not paying no lot rent. Right? That's, that, that's that Chicago in us. Chicago, like our last two deals, we did not pay no, no lot rent right. doing the rehab or selling of these homes. Yeah. Wow. So is the when they say build a relationship with them park managers, listen, y'all, because it works. Like she like my cousin now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love it, man. Love it. That's strong though, because <laughs> like. First of all, everybody like see them hands coming up, right? Like you talking about most people, that's what they fear a lot, rent. Like, man, I might run out of money and things like that. And so, like, I'm a, my, it, it's gonna go to my next question. But like Vic said, you know, even just sitting back, like, damn, baby, that's disrespectful, right? <laughs> but the queen, the queens be on to something, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and man, like for real, like. So, like, how, how important is that is those relationships? Talk more about that, even your handyman, your park managers. Like, talk about the relationships. Well, our relationship with this park manager, it started really rocky. Mm -hmm. So, we had came to learn to find out that the reason it took us so long to sell the first home is because she was taking our applicants. <laughs> like, I'm sending people, like, before, when you tell me that you like the house, and you finna come see it, I instantly send you the application. So by the time you make it there, I know if you approved or not, I know if we even finna do business or should I not waste my time. And the person that ended up getting it had kind of slid out and hit me with a, yeah, cause she told me don't buy that one. That's, oh, she got this one. Oh, what? So, you know, I had kind of had the slide on and had like that little conversation, you know what I'm saying? Like, we we in business together. I make money one time. You make money as long as they stay here in this in this park. You know, you go continue to collect lot rent for them. So there's no need to come me out. You know what I'm saying? And if we go continue to do business, we need to be transparent. Thanks. So Thanks. once we got that out the way, now as soon as my applicants do the application, I I send her the name. She instantly get right back to me. So and so got approved. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, now it's to the point where she called us from home. Yeah, yeah. Wow. They got some vacant. She called us like, mm -hmm. I got this. Y'all want to come and check it out? Mm -hmm. We be like, we on the way. Yeah. We be having the kids and everything. <laughs> <with us. laughs> that's, that's dope, bro. Because it's like, like people don't. Really, that's the that's the game. Mm -hmm. Once you get in, it's gonna be a non-stop. Either mm -hmm. it's gonna get. People don't realize the only way you get rid of a park manager is to put somebody else in place. Mm -hmm. But until then, it's gonna be like you said, all oh, y'all, y'all gonna be keep coming up like, man, I got another one, I got another one. And once you end with one park, like in about would y'all know how many units that park got? Man, there's so many homes. They constantly add at home. Yeah. Like every time we come out there, if that slate is open, it's a brand new home right there. Mm -hmm. 
So mm-hmm. they constantly adding, and then that company alone has like 10 parks under them. So we finna go check out this home this weekend that's at another park. So I'm finna hit her up like, hey, you know, can you talk to this park manager over here? I'm finna slide over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we, already we already got a deposit locked in. We good. We just right. want to purchase now. <laughs> oh, man. No, that's dope, man. I, I love it, man. Yeah, it's, to the, it's to the point like with the park manager, like on our way there, Danica called like, Hey girl, we on our way in. You want something to eat? She be like, she be like, yeah, bring me a chicken salad. I mean, <laughs> nigga hang up like, got him. <laughs> hey, I hope people Jim. catching these gems again. Jim. A small Jim. thing, we be laughing, but that small <laughs> chicken right. salad is the reason why Damn. I need to get them phone calls. Yeah. Like, hey, they the go to persons for that mobile home community. That's what you want to be in this business. You want to be the go to person. Mm-hmm. I like this. Somebody made a comment said, "Good, expose those kids to everything." Our community is playing economic catch up. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we we definitely. Oh uh, yeah, we take your kids out there to clean up yards and everything. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> tough. Yeah. That's tough. I and love it, man. Got like friends that like we we fresh in the game, you know, but we also have friends that's interested. So we don't let them ride with us and like yeah. walk them through the oh. rehab. We don't let them talk to our contractors. So. Yeah. He tell them the average cost of a rehab yeah. and you know what he doing. He walked them through like when he was doing the subfloors over mm-hmm. and just things like that. So we definitely not like and stand this, you with information. Like if you're no, interested, we gonna put you in the game. And there's no bullshit. Like literally one of my coworkers, like I don't post too much, but he be seeing me like dipping and dabbing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he got interested one day and the, our last home we sold, like he was at work. That man took a half day and drove to Indiana because I told him that we was out there and about to uh, have somebody come about the house. He took half day. He yeah. went and got his wife and came out there. Wow. wow. Look at that impact. Man, for real. That's yeah. huge, though. You know, and I, go ahead, Dick. Uh, no, nah, that was it. Oh, but yeah, man, when y'all think of, when y'all listen to that, everybody that's listening on here, right? We got 91 people on here. Go ahead, let's get up to 100. Let's run it up. Go ahead, everybody. <laughs> um, but listen to what they saying. For one, the family involved, friends involved. Like Vic said, man, my coworker, like, yo, bro, you come out here, not that stingy. And the more they give, you talk about that abundance. Even the simple things, Anika saying, yo, you, you hungry? Let's get you something to eat. Like, that's the abundance mindset because when you give and you give and you give, they receive it in ways that they not even seeing. They just being having a good heart and they getting blessed by again helping people with affordable housing, getting these big ass checks. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's a win win. Man, that's dope. Yes, I love it. So I feel like this is gonna be a good question because we got so many newbies on here and they they itching. They like man. How- <laughs> started you know what's this what's that what's some advice that y'all can give a new investor that's looking to get into mobile homes i definitely get educated first because if you jump out there with no education and you know you go let somebody sell you anything so mm-hmm. definitely and i anybody that we take with us or anybody that i tell about mobile home investing and what i do I, the first thing i say is go go follow my people go follow my people Mm-hmm. Whenever y'all go live and drop in free information, hey, tune in real quick. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Go follow that YouTube because those are, you know what I'm saying, free courses right there that's going to get your feet wet. Mm-hmm. And from there, if, if you know, if you still hungry for more information, then, you know, I done sent a few people to Shawnee that I actually bought and took the course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, since you put that post up yesterday, we kind of like shared it on our page. Mm-hmm. Like so many people want to know, so many people like, want to know. Us, like literally, like I need- <laughs> a guy was like, "Man, I just bought the course, man. How is it? I'll watch it." Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. it. Hey, and listen, y'all. If y'all hit up my people, y'all make sure that comes with a consultation. So they ain't right. no brain free. Right? Right. <laughs> they prove it in this game, man. So, man, now nah, that's that's so dope. So. You know, like you kind of just leave kind of our last question before we kind of go jump in. And like, I know people got questions and things, but like, how, like how did the program really help y'all kind of through the process? Like Jay Z, baby, the blueprint. Hey. <laughs> the blueprint. We didn't know nothing about mobile homes uh, or nothing. And I and like even now, I still go log back in and like right. watch stuff. Like uh-huh. when I want, when I was like, man, I want to start putting homes on. Payments. So I told him every home after this, we put it on payments. We finna have 10, 20 people paying us rent, you know? Mm-hmm. So, so I still refer back to the course. Like 
and here I, here we are on our third, you know, in the process of our fourth deal. So you can always revert back to it, but it's gonna give you all the information you need. After that, you gotta get up off the couch. Right, you gotta get in your you. car. You gotta get on the road. Them deals is not gonna fall in your mouth. You gotta hit the road. You we, go drove, drive. Oh, we drove. We drove five hours to South Mount Park. Vernon, Indiana, mm -hmm. to yeah. buy some homes. Uh -huh. Five hours each way, each not in way. total. Right. Each way. <laughs> State troopers <laughs> clock me doing. State troopers <laughs> clock me doing ninety. <laughs> <laughs> they like where you going? We like to Mount Vernon. They like what business you got down there? They like. We like we gonna go buy some mobile homes. Yeah, like, he, was for looking, real? he was looking like mobile homes. Y'all flip mobile homes? Right. Oh yeah, it's a mobile home park right, right over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, he did. Hey, he did. Did they get you out the ticket? Oh yeah, definitely. He gave, he got us a warning. Yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> he, got us out the ticket. he was interested in what we was gonna right. go do. Uh, like, what y'all do? Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. No, nah, that's just nice, I love it. No, nah, that's dope, man. I think that that's it's so even to this day, every time we tell somebody mobile homes, mm -hmm. you know, they first thing is like trailers. Mm -hmm. Right. And and then that's how the conversation started. Before you know it, now they like, yo, like let me how can I learn more? Like you, you know what I'm saying? What you and, and now they want to follow you, shadow you. So mm -hmm. that's the good thing about it. Man, so Man, with that being said, you know, again, I always like asking a question. So make sure, let me see something real quick. I want to make sure this link good before I put that out there. One second, y'all. All right, back. So with that being said, um, tonight, y'all know tonight we always throw a love deal before we get into Q&A. So we're going to do $100 off our Elite e-course, which is normally priced at $4.99, but tonight you get it at $3.99. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the chat. Make sure y'all take advantage of that. If you want to learn the game, um, how Danika and Vic was able to take the blueprint, go ahead, um, invest in this course, and then that way we can go ahead and get in this Q&A, man. So I know the people got some good questions for y'all. So let me see. Let me see. So here the first question we got, are you doing more than one deal at a time or not until you sell one, then get another one? Well, working in the park, you only can have one lease. Right. So we're doing one deal at a time due to us working in one park. But if we if we ever saw something that was worth buying, we were going to do both our names. Right. So right now we're just working on run that one name. And our last deal um, is when we opened up our right. business account, not right. LLC. So our last deal was actually under right. our business account, not our names anymore. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to get everything out of our name and everything under the LLC. Talk Gems. that talk. <laughs> Gems. Hey, Vic just put you he said something key. He said we can get one of the hun name, we right. can get one of the mon name. <laughs> right. Name it again. Your mama can get one, your right. cousin can get one. <laughs> yep. Facts. Man, I love it. It's all right. Hey, let's see the next question. Somebody asks, uh, how about private lots of mobile homes already on it? Are y'all interested in those? I haven't really come across any. Yeah. We haven't. We've been working in the same deposit. I'm like, oh, yeah, you got something else? Yeah. You go to another part, you got to run your credit again, run your name, pay the deposit, pay the first. Mm -hmm. We locked in right, right. here, so uh -huh. we're just trying to keep moving around the corner. We was on the last street. Now we on the, 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 the third block. Now we around the corner. <laughs> like, yeah. Monopoly. A monopoly. Yeah. When, the, yeah. when, the, when the lady was getting kind of grimy when we found out she was uh, taking the advocate. Danique was like, I want to move around. We gotta get out this park. I said, Look, baby, this park is gold, man. Everybody wants everybody to live wanna there. Everybody want to live there, and they got like they got like pool, park, everything. It's definitely so, like, like an A park. So, yeah, so I'm like, Look, we gonna pull her to the side, talk to her, but it's a goal, man. Let's see. I was see ready her to check her. Yeah, she was ready. She's so laid back and cool. I know. I think me and Charnese was talking about when we was on our trip to the law. No, man. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get on there with her. <laughs> you gotta bring that out of you, but look at y'all yeah, now. Look yeah, at you guys yeah. now, though, right? Right, we cool now. Now she be telling me all the problems. Yeah, <laughs> crazy, man. It's crazy, man. These niggas be tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on, Queen Jones says, "What are some things you look at when picking the parks that you work with?" Well, you definitely like. I like the cleanliness of a park because that's going to attract people. So that was one issue we had at the park that we drove the five hours for. Like some investors had recently bought it and 
it wasn't clean and it had a lot of old houses right. and they were they hadn't started like bringing in newly used houses from other parts so you have to have something that's going to attract your buyer to want to live there so when i post a home i'm like welcome to so-and-so park oh my god we have a beautiful swimming pool for those hot summer days don't worry about the water park <laughs> you know they got a playground it has a wreck it has a charter school right up the street you five ten minutes from the grocery store it's clean like you don't see trash you constantly see maintenance riding around it's not uh you don't see people like um everybody pretty much stay to they self um you know you'll see like the kids walking through the park you know going to play or something like that but it's very clean so you want someone that what and most most of the people we sell to our family so you want someone with people comfortable bringing their family you know what i'm saying you can't bring nobody what that's dirty it's a drug house three mm -hmm. houses down you got people hanging around. You want people to move somewhere where it's quiet and it's safe. And you pretty much can drive through the park and just like fill it out. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know mm -hmm. what makes you comfortable and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Cause we done rode through some parks that had like the biker. Right. Like, we 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 drove in the park from the time we drove in. One dude that stood there and watched us the whole time. They like parked their bikes and looked at us like, I'm "What like, y'all want?" I was like, like mm -hmm. "I was like, baby, I think we done ran up on the outlaws." <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, hoes! <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Hey, yeah, listen. I'm gonna. I'm gonna encourage most people, right? When you in there, you gotta remember you in their hood. So it ain't no point of just you know if somebody get kind of marvel, just right. keep them going. Yeah, keep going, yeah. Mm -hmm. You a visitor? You're right. You're exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Man, let's see. He go another one. Uh, uh, hope I'm saying is it Jakai ever said what's a decent amount of money? to start with well our number and for me looking at the, the you know taking the course i our number was five you know so we try we try to stay under five yeah. we try to stay five and under and i'd be I think man we, I, people, think, I think we ride around with like five thousand dollars trying to buy yeah. <laughs> you want 17 i got five <laughs> you, say you, pull out, you pull out the bankroll like all right 17 here you go <laughs> right, right. Hey, dog, no, that's what's up, man. And yeah, so Jakai, I'm going to tell you, man, and if you don't have no capital, you can always wholesale. You can start mm -hmm. off in this business with zero dollars, man. Yeah. You know, you just want to help solve a problem. So it really depends on, you know, they in the Midwest with us. So, you know, we can find mobile homes for 5000 You know, Atlanta, I mean, with Georgia, Alabama, all those southern states. Some of y'all on the East Coast, 15000 or less, 20000 or less, California, you know, thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. I'm in Cali, like I ain't never going over there. <laughs> so it all varies. Hold on. So I think this kind of answer the next question. Justin says, "I'm in Delaware. How would I find out if mobile home market here is worth investing in?" Man, I got Justin on this one. <laughs> anything that's anything that's affordable. So the thing about the mobile home market is it's the affordable housing. So any area that, that is a high demand for a living and people want to live there, if a mobile home, if a mobile home park is near there, it's going to be a high demand because they want the same jobs. They want the same, you know, the, the, the amenities and shopping centers. So they just want to be by that. That's why people like would love bragging. Like I live out million dollar houses, even though their house may be worth this just because you want to be by that. So anywhere that that's that, you know, provides affordability, anywhere that's that's, you know, that's that's uh, clean, safe and functional. You gonna always see that. Uh, here goes somebody. Danielle says, uh, "How much did you guys save to buy?" I will like, like not on no cocky stuff. Like we just had it on the, you know, we had it already. Mm -hmm. So once we decided to get into it, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go to my credit union, and you finna go to yours, and we just finna pull out this, and we finna, we finna invest. Mm -hmm. Hey, real quick, say that one more time because it, it's gonna go over a lot of people. Where, where did y'all go? We went credit to the credit union. union. <laughs> hey, I'm telling y'all, if everybody, if you don't have a credit union mm -hmm. and your bank been telling you no, you've been going to the wrong place. Credit union, and they will have the best interest rates, right? They're going to give you the money because you bet, because you your money with them all already. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling y'all, credit unions, if you don't give y'all a gym, if you if you don't have a, like a, a local credit union, Navy Federal. I'm going to give y'all that gym right there. Navy <laughs> Federal. <laughs> Let's see what's so let's see. Uh, I gotta answer this real quick. It says I bought lots with a mobile home with a mobile hookup to utilities. Now what? 
So Kathleen, you got to, for one, if you bought homes with mobile home hookups, <laughs> now you just need the homes, right? Now you need the homes. If you have the homes, that's dope. If you're looking for the homes, start looking for homes that need to be moved. I'm going to tell you, your best bet is to Google mobile home movers and everything. They're going to be able to walk you through where you at right now. Mobile home movers. I'm going to go ahead and give you that gem. I like this. She said, telling a story, sell homes. I think she, she had put this one. Danica was talking about uh, everything that came with the amenities. Here goes somebody. Do you guys buy single wise? Samantha said, do you guys buy single wise and double wise? Oh, we've been having single wise. Vic is interested in that double wise. I'm waiting on double wise because I know I get bang. I know I get that money out the double wise. <laughs> 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 right, right, right. More space. Right, more space, more space. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For real. Who will see? Trailer Park Trucks at course was fired. Thanks for the great teachers and inspiration. Congrats to, the, to this king and queen on taking action. I right. appreciate you, Queen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Shavonda says, does the landlord responsibilities discourage you guys or are you doing rental on only? Oh my God, this is the best part about it. <laughs> this is the best part about it. It's the lease. And when you're doing rent to own, the tenant is responsible for all repairs. <laughs> we don't fix nothing. <laughs> this your monthly check. This your when, house. When, right. you go, when you go lease a car and the brakes go bad, do you take it back to Nissan? No, you got to fix them brakes. <laughs> yep. Same thing. Yep. Right. I love it. We just collecting. That's all I'm on. Making sure you got your monthly payments on time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Man, for real. CB Howard put fat. <laughs> so I think uh, I got to be my beat. Maybe I came on a little bit later. So how much was y'all first initial investment? Okay. 4K. 4K. Okay. We just basically been constantly recycling that money. So right. we recycled uh, the money and reinvested the first money. Right. We not touch, We haven't touched none of our own money in, in yeah, since so, the first deal. Yeah, since the first deal. We just constantly been re reinvesting. Uh -huh. Man, listen, that's... Everybody's listening. And well, y'all heard first of all, y'all. I hope y'all heard what they just said. They haven't touched none of their own money, it's just investment money, and that's the name of the game with investments. See what happens. I'm gonna be real. A lot of times, a lot of people we get it and we go run it up. <laughs> yeah, we're we gonna get a check. They could have easily been like, Hold on, we just made six bands. All right, and then we could have went to the Gucci store, but we did. Yeah, that's what they do. I be I be telling so many people like. With all this money floating around, I bro, go get you a mobile home. What did you do? Like, I'm so cheap now. Like, I probably what was that for my birthday? We was doing like the first um deal, and he had, was going to the store to get some me some Dior shoes. I know that's the paint job in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, he's like, you so cheap. We could do both. We not. We finna take that Jeep and we finna get this house painted, and we finna yeah. get like that. That bathroom was like the brick layer. Mm -hmm. Um, a jacuzzi tub and everything in the first one. I'm like, nah, we can get this bathroom regrouted. We finna invest this thousand. You know what I'm saying? We we'll, we'll go to the Dior store once we uh hit our little profit. But for right now, we invest it only. And wow. then on our second deal, like I didn't even wanna, I didn't even wanna pay myself. I like, I'll just leave it in the business account. I she was, she was like, no, Barry said you gotta take ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> I had that investment, investment, investment. You should have right. seen me in the bank writing out right, that right. check. Huh? Check. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Man. Check, like, huh, take this. All right. Hey, that is dope. Y'all mindset. Don't yeah. like. I, I, I love it because I can't wait for people, everybody on here watching this, and I can't wait for people to look at this because that's the shift, right? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how that we came up. You know, it was big pimping, baby. You know what I'm saying? We <laughs> running it up. Like, we got paid where we was at. You know what I'm saying? We from the shop. So we was at the factory. We was at whatever. Right. Was. <laughs> we was blowing money. You know what I'm saying? But, like, the fact that y'all even said, like, man, nah, like, I'm going to be honest. How many queens on here, for real? Put in the chat. How many of y'all could be like, nah, baby, don't buy me the Dior's right. <laughs> for the paint job? Right. That's a different mindset. And y'all yeah. reached that, and that's why y'all continue to be successful because, you shifted your mindset from trying to look good into mm -hmm. all right, let's let's go ahead and build up this business. Mm -hmm. We can look good from that, but yo, let's exactly. make, let's make this house look good first. Mm -hmm. Man, bro, that's 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 strong. Shout out Artina, one of the alumni. What's right? up, she Artina? said, same invest, invest. Man, I'm telling y'all, man, tonight, bro, this is I love this. One. This is <laughs> you know, you get to just be yourself with your family, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> 
Right. It's just like a regular FaceTime oh, conversation. <laughs> I love it. They speak the lingo. <laughs> exactly. So now, man, I think somebody had one more question. I think that I see it. Oh, somebody asked. I got two more. Somebody says, have you guys ever put a home on rent? No, because uh, most mobile home parks don't allow subleasing. For you to mm-hmm. rent out a home, you would need to sublease. So when y'all get that course, y'all will learn all that. Period. <laughs> 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 let them know the wonderful deal we got going on right now. You don't want to sublease. You don't even want to rent a mobile home, honestly. Got to get the blueprint. <laughs> Man, for real. And then one more person. Uh, Jen Jones said, did you find your initial deal driving for dollars? I found my initial deal on Marketplace. Yeah, marketplace. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. But Marketplace, man, Byron them done drove the market up. So when y'all right. go on there, everything like, like 20, 30, right. 40,000. Yeah. Like, you got to gas you gotta, up and drive you gotta down. Get out there. You gotta get yeah, you got to get, you gotta get out there. I think we got somebody they say they from a small town. You got to get outside your market. You know, like our parks that we do business in is like an hour or so away. Same thing with them. The park they do business in, we all in Chicago, it's like an hour or so away. So if you don't see anything like right in your backyard, then that just means you got to get in your car and start driving. That's and really if you're in Chicago, your backyard, your lot run going to be almost a G. Like the park <laughs> we went to to buy stuff. It was like nine, eight. I'm like, it's cost more than right. What Literally. are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. About what? Uh, I live in Mount Prospect. Oh, yeah. yeah. He got three yeah, nice it's a, mobile homes. It's a mobile park him. on the left side of me, the right side of me, down the street, but it's just that, that fucking lot rent. High as hell. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so high. Yeah. I was like, do you know how nice it would be right. to invest next door? Right. 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 I, I, I can wake up was... like, oh, I can show you the home right now. Right. Man, you listen. Out of bed, like, oh, okay. Here I come. <laughs> The worst Oakland, Blue Island, mm-hmm. man. Blue Island ain't want almost nine hundred dollars in a concrete jungle a month for lot rent. Yeah. I'm and like, these homes like so close together, you don't see no parks. They parking like on, on, on their home other, yeah. on top of each other. I'm like, nah, we finna take this drive for this four hundred lot rent. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. It's worth the drive. It, it honestly is. Maybe I got one last one, one question. question. I'll let y'all answer this one. It says, I have no prior experience in real estate. Does your class start from the ground level? Ground level, all the, the blueprint. <laughs> <laughs> the blueprint. <laughs> that, that, that course gives you play by play, blow by blow, everything you need. Yeah, everything Man. you need for mobile home. We didn't, we didn't have no real estate experience either. Mm. We, got, we got a mobile home experience now. Facts. <laughs> like big mobile home right, experience. Big mobile home experience. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, that's so dope, man. Like, and, and and again, you know, I think that a lot of times that that those questions come across. You know, you just don't want to make mistakes, but you don't make small mistakes. But yeah, man, what they say about scared money don't make no money. Scared yeah, money don't yeah. make no money, boy. <laughs> you don't. You gotta put yourself out there. We, we took our time, and it's like we still we still made some mistakes. Like we still made some rookie mistakes on our first deal, and even with taking your time and trying to tiptoe over this and not do this like you gonna bump your head but it's a learning experience you need to bump your head you know what i'm saying because every it made that second deal so sweet every like, loss it, made, loss. it made it so sweet it made and it made everything after that much easier Man, yeah. Yeah. it's a lesson yeah For real big lessons man real quick on a shout out jen she said did my first wholesale first wholesale Definitely ready for my first flip. Congratulations, Jen. Yeah, that's major. That's major, man. For real. Nah, man. This this one, this one was dope. This one was dope, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you had a family, you know, it's always, it's always, it's it hits different. You know what I mean? Because again, like y'all was at, you know, y'all was at our birthdays and everything like <laughs> right. that. You know what I'm saying? Christmas party, so it's like we you know we don't we may not see each other. And Shawnee's so always update me like, yo, the nigga got another one. The nigga got another one. Yo, I'll be like, like, I'll be like, like it's an off hood, you know. What I'm saying, like, I'm not shocked. You know? right. <laughs> if I can do it, I knew Cuz can oh, do yeah. it. So I'm not shocked. Yeah, oh man, it's just it's just what's up. And like you said, y'all going this weekend to look at another mobile home in a whole nother park. So again, that's just another one you can go ahead and throw on passive income mm-hmm. and get them 10, 15 deals you're looking for exactly. by the end of the year. Like low, low key, we tried to go today before the uh the interview. Before the interview. <laughs> uh, 
Or he's like, that might be pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate y'all. Okay, I appreciate y'all for that. <laughs> oh man, nah, this this one dope. I see the family here. We got Sarita in here, man. Hey, Sarita. Uh, Terry in here, man. Most of the you know the, the Facebook family in here. I see Kathleen said, "You young folks on the move, right?" Just y'all, you know, y'all just really inspire. And I think that these these episodes are this is for the culture, mm -hmm. right? Because this is something that, again, we already know. If you talk about five years from from you know ago, we was, we even sitting talking about mobile homes. People have looked at us like we crazy, but you know now we've been able to kind of we 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 didn't put the swag, we didn't put that in the mobile homes, and we didn't made them cool, and we didn't made another way for people to get income. And y'all just a perfect example of a couple being able to do this. And like again, if you came late, Danika was eight months pregnant. Vic said he worked crazy hours, like, but they still made it happen. So what they truly represent is no excuses. Because you ain't got no excuse. Because again, if you ain't eight months pregnant right now, and you <laughs> <laughs> got off right now, right. You, you do not have you know, an excuse. No excuse. No excuse at all. Yeah. So this is how y'all follow them. If y'all want to uh, keep up with their journey, make sure y'all follow them at Danika Too Cool. And then one errand get mother, you know. <laughs> make sure y'all make sure y'all follow them, man. man stay up with their journey. Mm -hmm. Like they said, they're gonna be going this weekend to look at a mobile home. So yeah, stay stay tuned. Stay yes. tuned. And make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. If y'all yes. enjoyed this, make sure you share this. We back. Uh, we're gonna be back next Monday. Mm -hmm. um, next Monday with another guest. And make sure y'all follow the series. Everybody on here. What I love about it. This was either their first time investing. Or they made the switch and they just went straight in there. So, I mean, you know, look what Danika and Vic has been able to do. And how, I mean, wait, how many months, y'all? We like four months, four, four five months in. Mm -hmm. Four months, y'all. Yes, and our blood, man. Four <laughs> months, y'all. Like, I want y'all to really think about that, y'all. Four months. And now we doing this interview. We ain't listen. We ain't doing this interview just because. Oh yeah, this cousin them. No, like in no, four months, and fifty eight thousand dollars. Like, come on now. Like, no, nah, we got we got to highlight them. We got to share. We got to be able to put the, you know put them and give them their flowers now because I think next year around this time, hey Vic, you think we talking parks? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had that conversation. We like, man, what the numbers looking like? We ready? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Because right, at first, like when people think like investing, like we had that conversation. The first thing people think about, I'm gonna go get me a two flat. I'm gonna go get me a three flat. I'm like, man, I don't know nobody with no two three flat that done checked twenty bands in five days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Man, eventually we'll get that, but now we like, nah, we finna keep doing it till we get. Up in the park, yeah, I love it, man. Y'all doing it. the right thing, mm -hmm. investing, you know what I'm saying? Keep y'all understanding that's the thing. The reason y'all gonna be dope park owners because y'all gonna understand the intricate pieces inside of the community, mm -hmm. how that works. Y'all in tune with a park manager, y'all know a house in, inside and out, y'all know what people want and they don't want. So now, when y'all go to that actual that ownership, game over, game over. The part that we uh, the part that we do business at. About a mile away, it's another park. It's it's kind of it's kind of shitty, but mm -hmm. uh, we talked to the people at the office, and they was like, "Well, some new investor just bought it. They're trying to get some. Uh, they're trying to build a park up." I told Danica, "Hey, we should buy that mall. <laughs> 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 That's what they want to sell it for. Right, right. 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 Sell it to them. Right, run yeah. it, run it for them. <laughs> man, man, listen, y'all. This one was dope, man." Yes, this definitely dope. though. Shout out y'all. Shout out everybody that tuned in. Super great comments and questions tonight. Again, make sure y'all follow them. Keep up with their journey and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and just continue to check in on all the free things that Byron and I do. And if you have not, make sure you sign up for our free webinar on Wednesday. We do this every single Wednesday. We're on there for like an hour and a half sometimes answering questions and just getting people right and making sure that you guys are ready to start your mobile home investing journey. So make sure you go ahead and sign up for that as well. Yeah, I'm going to put the link in there uh, so that way y'all can sign up in one second. Um, and somebody and shout out to the Facebook group, like, oh, man. When oh, yes. deal, like when our first deal one going through, like everybody else 
deals and everything they was doing like that's what kept me motivated because at first i'm like man maybe this ain't even for me <laughs> and then i'm in the facebook group and i'm like man i'm sending big other people deals like man look what she just look what she just made mm-hmm. look what she just did oh, no no we gotta keep at it we gotta keep at it so shout out to everybody in the facebook group they're my cousins too they very positive <laughs> they <laughs> you know they, they they be on it we be we be educating each other i got my notifications on so whenever somebody posts something you know and i can answer the question or mm. I tune in and I done been through it. I'm yeah. definitely on that dropping information for them, like because I done been there before where you just don't know. And we were trying to go see a part this uh, this past Saturday, and and Donique was like, I don't think this part take investors. And I was like, uh, well, we need to figure that out before we go out there. And then you contact somebody off the mm-hmm. Facebook group, and they they didn't they didn't allow investors. Oh, they for real. Yeah, the one we was just gonna go look at Saturday, we had found the nice one, but and for a decent price too, but not the price that I was gonna offer. But, right. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, they didn't allow investors, so we we couldn't even slide up in there. But it's it's a real nice part too. Nice, nice. Well, man, we are gonna go ahead and end this one again because right. I think it already ended on Facebook. But yeah, okay. thank you, yeah, thank you guys so much. Love y'all and. uh Thank everybody that joined us tonight. And again, make sure y'all tune in. We back next Monday with another superstar guest. We're going to be talking about her journey. And we actually got somebody coming on to talk about funding, too. We know we got the PP and we got all these SBA loans and everything. She specializes in that. So she's going to be coming on next week to just really talk about those gems as well. So make sure y'all stay in tune. And on that note, good night. Good night.